All right, now I'm hooking up the pressure sensitive uh, button that we created using the conductive fabric and velostat um, resistor and resistance in between. And I'm hooking up to Arduino. The way I'm doing that is I'm running the five volt Arduino hole to a jumper wire through my alligator clip. And I'm running that back into that conductive fabric we did in the last video. Um, I added some Velostat layers because it was too sensitive for the readings I was getting in the Arduino uh, dashboard. But it's the exact same thing otherwise, just a few more slips. And I'm running the other side of that, uh, that conductive fabric uh, pressure sensor we created into um, the uh, positive side of the uh, diode here. This is a 1N. 4003 diode, and that diode is running into ground, which is done through this jumper going back into the Arduino. So the next thing I'm going to do is I want to start reading this. So I'm going to take the jumper here, and I'm going to run it into the same line as I have uh, the power supply through the diode. I'm going to run it into my A0 pin here. It's a little hard to do with the camera. All right, so now the power supply to the breadboard, which is the same place that I'm running the power through the conductive fabric, is now going to my analog input. So now, if we look at the code, it's really simple. The analog pin zero, I'm gonna start reading uh, from the serial port at a 9600 baud. And then the sensor value is gonna be based on reading that pin. And then I'm gonna print that sensor value out, okay? So once I upload this and run it, I'm gonna to go to the tools and I'm gonna do, uh, let's start with the serial monitor since it's more specific values. And you can see right now the resistance or the, the voltage that's going through uh, this circuit is at about 72. It's about zero to 124, something like that. Broken up basically, if you divide it by five, it would be the voltage. So it's just low one volt or less right now, I think, that's how I understood it. And as I'm going to press it, I'm going to press this down and let go. Press it down, let go, and you're going to see how it changes the reading here. So I'm going to start touching it. And I'm going to press it, press it harder, harder still, and then let go. And so adding that Velostat layers, you can see um, if I take out a couple layers here, It starts at 110 and pressing on it takes to 170, but there's not a lot in between. That's what I didn't like about that. I'm just touching it right now and it's already at 130, pressing a little harder at 170. It seems, I think it seems, maybe I was wrong, that adding more of the Velostat made the range a little bit wider. So now there's four layers there, starting at about 70, tapping it at 100, pushing it hard at 160. 170 so it just seemed to break it up better and then we're gonna look at the graph which was the first thing I saw made me excited that I figured this out but using the plotter you can see that the graph is about an 80 something like we saw with the monitor and this is neat I'm just gonna touch it real quick get that little bump there that's me tapping it me doing this it is that spike you see there Okay, and now I'm gonna press light, press and hold, goes up more. And I'm gonna press hard every second. So pressing hard, letting go, pressing hard, letting go. Pretty neat. So we got that circuit working. Hope you can get working too.